Hi and welcome to TextHit tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to vertically align text or block using CSS. Apparently there is not a single solution to this problem. It very much depends on what you're trying to align. Let's say you have an element. Uh, we're gonna cut an outer element and if you draw a line in, right in the middle and trying to align another element vertically center. So this is what we're trying to do. Let's start with a simple um, element, a single line of text. Here, instead of uh, here, instead of uh, specifying um, height of the outer element, we can simply add equal padding on the top and bottom to make the uh, the inner text center. Now let's do some coding. Uh, so I'm I'm opening this wonderful website called CodePen.io. Um, let's uh, let's create an element uh, I'm gonna give a, a simple text okay, that we a lot we're trying to align uh, now I'm gonna give it a class class equal to a and here in the class as you can see um, the HTML page is rendering here now I'm going to give style to this class by simply first I'm going to uh, add some back uh, width so it looks uh, presentable and I'm going to add background color black And font color white. Now here I'm going to add the padding. Thirty px. As you can see your text is automatically centered within this div. This is very useful when you're trying to center the text of a button. Second way of centering a single line of text is using a line height. You can simply set you can simply set the line height equal to the height of the element. The use of the line height is actually to provide the spacing, vertical spacing between the two texts. Um, and within within the line height the text is always centered. So if you make the line height of your text equal to the height of the outer element, then it would automatically center the text. So it would look like this. However, if you have more than one line, then this method does not work. So in the previous example, instead of using paddings, we are going to use line height. So <clears throat> I'm just going to remove the padding and I'm going to give I'm going to give a uh, height to this element 70 pixel as you can see the height of the element is now 70 pixel and I can give a line height also 70 pixel it automatically makes the text center so far we have only covered a single line of text so far we have only covered centering a single line of text now let's um, look at how to center multiple lines so for that the first method we are going to use is uh, by using display flex now remember this is uh, not going to work on uh, much older browsers so um, especially i.e. Uh, nine and before so if you have um, if you have a requirement to cover all the browsers then you you should wait for the next method which is using display table cell we are going to do some coding here so let's open the uh, the code pen again and uh, I'm going to create a, a div and here I'm going to enter a much longer text than last time
Okay, <clears throat> now in order to give it a style, we are going to give it a class. Class equal to A. Now we're going to use this class to style it so that the, the text would be centered uh, in this container div. Now as you can see, the text is showing up here, but um, firstly you're going to give it a height so that we can see how big it is. This way now we have a um, container which is smaller so we can see when it centers. Now the sec second thing we are going to do is uh, background color black. This way we can see the container and we also have to um, so now we have a container here um, color white currently it's the text is uh, aligned to the top now let's use flex so we are going to use display flex now this is this is where we, you want to pay attention. Um, justify content center and flex direction has to be column. As you can see, these three lines of code makes this text center. And remember, this only works in uh, all the latest browsers, not IE um, 9 and before. So if you want to play around with it, you can obviously go to this go to this URL. Next method to center multiple lines vertically is using display table. Now this method works on pretty much all browsers. You could create another div. And I'm also going to give it a class. But instead of putting text directly inside, I'm going to create a paragraph here. And inside the paragraph, I'm just going to write the text. And in the style here, I'm going to write two styles, one for A, class A, which would be um, height equal to 150 pixel. Again, we need to create um, a container so we can center the text or paragraph in this case, um, width equal to, say, two. 40 pixels and I'm going to give it a background black and font color okay now here I'm going to make this class uh, display table. So if you look at it, this is a table, and I'm going to make the paragraph a table cell. So here I can write style for the paragraph display table cell and vertical line middle 
as you can see, it's, it centers the text, or a paragraph in this case. As I said, this, this method works on uh, all the browsers, so it's safer to use. So far, we have covered how to center single line and multiple lines of text vertically. Now let's look at how to center blocks. For that, we will be using position absolute. Okay, so let's create an outer. Let's create two divs. One div, and we're gonna call it outer. Give it a class. Outer. And within this div, we are going to create another block call inner now we're not going to give it any content now we need to decorate these two classes so first but we need to uh, we need outer block to be shown so we're gonna add style to it so first we're gonna give it a width equal to 200 pixel and height equal to 200 pixels and background color to be black now as you can see the outer block shows up here now Let's give a style to inner block. Now, for that, we will also give it a height. Height equal to 50 pixel. Width equal to 50 pixel. And background color is, let's say red okay so it shows up here on the top left corner now the currently by default the position of this inner block is static but we want this to be absolute so what we'll do we'll say position now absolute Oh, it's not going to change much here. We also have to make the outer element position to be relative. Why? Because in order for the inner um, element to be absolute, the outer element has to be relative. If you don't use this, it might um, reference or refer to some other element with the position relative or uh, to the top element or root element so now let's center it so in order to center all you have to do is top move the block 50 percent down right but what it actually does it's it moves the top of the block to 50%. As you can see, the top of the block is exactly the 50% of the outer block, inside the outer block. But we want the center of this inner block to be here, not the top. So for that, we have to move itself half of its own size. So how do we do that? So we have a new syntax here called transform translate y to minus 50 percent and it moves up 50 percent when I say minus 50 percent we, we means we want 
it to move up. So that's how we do it. This should work in pretty much all the browsers. Uh, now let's look at something um, relatively modern, you know, something that was added uh, recently uh, using Display Flex. So here, in the same example, I'm just going to remove this position relative and I am also going to uh, remove all this stuff from the inner block. Now again, you can see the, the inner block is at the left top corner. Now what I'm going to do in the outer block, I'm going to say uh, display flex. And all I have to do is uh, two things. Uh, flex direction column and justify content center. This actually centers the block. So now as you can see the inner block is automatically center. It's very simple you know display it is flex and then you have to give you have to make the flex direction column and justify content um, equal to center. Now this may not work with all the browsers because it's relatively new so it will work on um, it won't work on probably IE um, uh, 9 and above or below should I say uh, before. It should not work on I, uh, Internet Explorer I 9 and before. If you like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel like the video and provide constructive comment. And if you have a question regarding anything that I've covered in this tutorial, please feel free to actually email me or provide a comment. And if there is any topic that you would like to be covered, uh, then just email me and uh, I will be able to provide a tutorial on that topic within a, a week or two.